Today we're going to take you around and show you a couple of campgrounds in the Sturgis area and then we're going to end up today and show you some things you might not know about the buffalo chip. So let's get to it. Stay tuned and find out about all the campgrounds in the Sturgis area. You bet. My name is Mark Karstensen. I'm the mayor of Sturgis. Uh, we are at the 82nd annual post rally summit here at the Sturgis Community Center and officially want to kick off the first welcome of the upcoming August event of the 83rd City of Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Hope everybody comes out and visits, enjoys the great weather. Um, we're certainly in fall here right now, but summer will come quickly and please come enjoy the hills and join us for next year's event. All these campgrounds are at exit 47 Elk Creek. You know, the first couple of these campgrounds we're going to be seeing, they're all right around the same location, these first two. We have stayed at neither one of these two. If you guys have been looking at our Facebook page, you may have seen Neil. He talks about this one. This is Socorro Campground. Uh, they've got a bar over there that we just went by. They've got the pool. Uh, they got a whole bunch of RV sites here that you can camp at. Uh, they got some full hookups. Also, as we go around the turn here, you're also going to see where the cabins are at. Uh, they, what we're hearing is some of the new cabins are being updated. They're actually putting some bathrooms in some of these units, which is causing the price to go up a little bit. But you'll have to contact them to get all the information on their campground. Uh, as we come around the turn here to the right, you can also see this is a big area that they let the tents be. There's a whole lot of pavilions. Uh And as we keep going through, there's like they got quite a bit, and they also got some more cabins here you can check out. Uh, so once again, we have not stayed at this campground before. We just wanted to kind of give you a drive through that we did back in October, just to kind of give you an idea what a couple of these campgrounds that we don't know. Right across the street here is Covered Wagon Resort. Uh, as we drove through, all we pretty much seen was they've got some RV hookups. Uh, they got some tent areas right here to the left. They got some more tent areas as soon as we go around the turn here that they can have tents. Uh, Neil actually told us that they do have cabins here also that they rent, but we didn't see any of those, so I'm not quite sure where the cabins are at. Looks like they got some shade there too for if you want a tent camp. And both of these are pretty small campgrounds. They're not real big. Uh, they're about halfway between Sturgis and Rapid City. So behind me right here, don't look up Fort Meade Recreation Area. This is closed for the full month of the rally. So there's no camping. But exit no camping, it. No, I think the parks, I think they put the gates across. They don't even let anybody drive back through here. So just FYI, no facilities available at the Fort Meade Recreation Area. Next exit is 34. This is where No Name City Campground. There's several of them along here. Here we have stayed before the rally. Uh, they got a lot of cabins here on the right hand side. They also have full hookups on the left here. Uh, we used the, we didn't stay in the cabin, but we did stay in an RV spot. Uh, that's a pretty nice campground. I think right now they're getting pretty full. Last time we checked, I don't know if they've got any rentals available or not, but uh, they do have quite a few cabins. Uh, some of the nice things that this campground has is the people that actually run the campground, not the owners, but the management is actually on the property. They have a bar here. They had food in there the last time we were here. They got a laundry mat. They've got a pool. Uh, they got a place for kids if you happen to bring your kids, but the pools there actually in that little building there, there's a hot tub. Last time we were there, there was one in there. Uh, here we are heading over to the Buffalo Chip. So as you come through the Buffalo Chip, you got to get all your paperwork. And as you come through the gate, you're going to pull up, unless you've got, got a motorcycle. If you're pulling an RV, you're going to have to come in and you have to line up and they're going to escort you to where you are. Look just to the right there. If you have an RV rental, that was right there on the right. On the left here, this is called Bear Butte View Dry Camping. A lot of times up here, you can get your bathrooms rented. Uh, they have a lot of porta potties up there that you can rent for yourself, private ones. Uh, all these campers here on the left, there's no utilities. It's all dry hookup. You gotta bring a generator. That's a little store where you can buy your beer at because they don't like you bringing beer in. Right here to the right is actually the, the paid shower house. 
Uh, they have a bunch of shower houses throughout the campground. Last year they did asphalt a lot of the roads now, so the dust is a whole lot better than it's ever been before. So looking to the right is Blue Sky, where we've stayed there. The other side over there on the other side of the road is Beach View Campground area. What they're doing there is they're putting in some more full hookups. Bikini Beach is right here. We're going to look at that again as we go around. But to the right here is where we've stayed before, which is Blue Sky. Uh, this is a pretty decent area. We were actually uh, probably about a couple, just a couple rows up here. Uh, it wasn't that loud. Now behind you, there is tent camping that's in the field behind you here. Uh, on the left, uh, this is already pre, these people have been renting it over here for the last, I don't know. I think it's called Harding County Line or something. And they're, they come annually. They've always got these spots reserved. And probably right over here to the right is where we had stayed. And then you go out farther, go straight out. There's some more RV or some more tent camping out that way. Uh, coming in here, uh, you can get here early and you can rope off an area for your friends. To the left there, there's a lot of camping there for tent camping. So you can bring your bike over there. There's a lot of shade and stuff over there for our tent camping. To the right there, that's just some dry camping. Also, you come up to the first set of cabins that they have up here. We're up here on the south side. So just, they call these the south shower cabins. So, because right behind this is the shower house that we use quite a bit. On the left here, uh, what was that group that was in there last the year? The Gypsy Tour girls or? They kind of had that whole left side there. You don't see a whole lot of it. We're gonna make a quick right here. And here's the shower house up here on the corner. There's a shower, there's a big laundry mat there. Now this whole side here is the Progressive South 40 RV camping. This is the largest camping area that they have at the buffalo chip if you're renting a camper unless you've already predetermined where you're going to put it it's going to be in here so the odds are you're probably there now over here all there is is electric and water there's some 30 and 50 amp no sewer hookup on the left there that's camp easy ride if you happen to want to ride in with camp easy ride that's their compound there on the left we'll come back around and see that once again here but as we keep going around here to the right you're going to see more of the progressive 40 over there now over here on the left there's some more tent camping here up until about right about here where the gates at this here is all the employees that are at the campground they're starting to be back in this area those little signs there actually say no camping allowed and that's where the, the employees are all back in there and so we're still running along the south 40 over here what we're coming up to is the dump station that they have inside the campground right here to the right is where if you want to dump your trailer you can pull up there there's several of them along there on the left here uh this is getting into the i think it's finsky yeah. park is right here to the left that's that area there yep i was right and so through here we're going to drive a little bit more through the progressive south 40. Back along the back wall here is where a lot of people that are in the 40 here will put their extra trailers at. That, I don't know if there's an extra charge for that, but I mean, people are putting their trucks and stuff back there, so I don't know. You'd have to call and ask that or just park over there and see what happens. And as you can see, they didn't asphalt any of this. This is all farm field out here. So this does get a little more dusty if it's dry. And if it rains, it's gonna get a little more, but this here is actually the field. They actually have cattle and stuff out here during the year when there's not any rally going on. So we're running along the back side of Progressive 40 here. We're heading back towards the shower house. So like I say, this is a really, really big area. So, and basically why this works in here is they would, if you check in, unless you've already rented a camper, which is already on a spot, you're gonna come back in and they're gonna escort you in there. If you don't really like where you're at, you can usually adjust it. Unless you come in towards the end and there's just not a lot of spots, you gotta take what they got left. So here we are running back down uh, there's a compound there to the left where the girls were at last year, the gypsies. Uh, here's Camp Easy Ride again on the left. That's their large campground that they've got all set up there. And that's quite an adventure. If you want to see more about that, we're actually going to spend some time with them in Leesburg. So we'll be having some video on what goes on there. So here we are, we're coming back around to Blue Skies to the left, Bikini Beach is to the right. We're going to take a quick stop here and let you see a little bit of that. Uh, they got a nice pond over here. It's pretty clean. It's not really that bad. They got a fountain and stuff in there. They got a, 
a bar inside here. They usually had food over here last year. Uh, they have all kinds of games and activities and stuff going on. They got bands out there during the day. So it's, it's a pretty fun area here. Uh, here we are, we're coming back along the north side of the beach. Uh, this is the area here that they're talking about putting some more full hookups at. Uh, this area here is closed off because to the left is where you get to park if you're coming to the show. This is the big amphitheater. Uh, there actually has two gates. This is the upper gate here that we're going to go to now and make a right to. The other one takes you lower and gets you down towards the field more. So as you come through this gate here, typically you're going to have to only going to be able to bring your motorcycle, a golf cart, or four-wheeler or something like that. This is before the rally officially started. So people are in here setting up, getting their booth set up. There's a lot of vendors that are going to be over here on the left side that you see. Uh, you see that tower that they're putting up there. That's a big screen they're putting up. They're also going to have, uh, that's a VIP section there on the right that you can pay extra and you can sit up on that deck and you can see all kinds of excitement. Uh, there's a bunch of restaurants, uh, there's a camp store there, get ice, beer, all kinds of stuff. All that's all along there. Straight ahead, uh, we won't go quite far enough, but straight ahead is where they've got the museum. You can see whatever the collection is. This is the new Lee Village VIP that was to the right there real quick that you got to see. Uh, what's nice about that is you're all on asphalt. This is the motorcycle art here, that building to the right. There's first aid if you had it had to go find it it was right there the building to the right now we're coming up on the top where a lot of people always say oh it's really loud at the buffalo chip this is where you don't want to be if you don't want to hit loud this is called stage hill if you just looked on, on the back side of these campers they're all facing the stage so anything on this side is going to be louder than the back side that we normally stay in so right here just shows you how they escort you in if you're coming in with your camper they're going to escort you in and you, they'll help you get in, help you set up. Uh, they don't set your trailer up. I mean, they just make sure you back in straight, you're in your area. If there's a problem, you let them know. If you have to get a different spot or something like that. You can pretty much stay in the section you're at and kind of pick and choose, but as the later you come in, you're kind of stuck with whatever they have. What's whatever's left over. Uh, here we are coming back down to Bikini Beach. Uh, like I say, this is all tent area here on the left. It's dry camping. There's no utilities there on the left. The right side here is where they are working, which I don't know if they'll have it done before this year or not, about putting some more full hookups, more electric and water on this right side. So here we are looking at Bikini Beach again. You can kind of see a little bit. They got a water slide. They got a swing. They got a, one of them things you can jump on and you end up in the water. Like a trampoline. Yeah. So all this on the right right now is all tent camping and stuff. Uh, anywhere there's grass, you can pretty much put a tent. You just can't put a tent on an RV site if you're just coming in tent camping. You know, if you've got a tent with your RV, that's not an issue. Uh, so here we are coming back out the exit of the Buffalo Ship. Now there's the whole right side over here. We didn't really take you around and show that, which at another time we may show you that. There's a store there on the left where you can buy your beer and stuff at the store there. And the price of liquor there really isn't that bad of a price. Uh, when we checked the price, they weren't really much more than what the grocery store was in, in Sturgis. Right. So there's the bathrooms. You can; Those are all rentals. So if you want to get a spot over there, there's a place right past the shower house when you come in. You can rent an odd house and have it put on your spot. And uh, you get a lock on it. You don't have to worry about anybody else using it. And when you go out of the park, you always go out the way we're going right now. Uh, you see all the bathrooms there, the Johnny on the Spots people have rented. So as we go around here, you can see right over there to the right. And to the right here, you can kind of see a little few of those golf carts. That's where you would pick a golf cart up if you have one pre-ranged. Straight ahead is Crossroads to the left. And to the right is where they're going to have the flags at, the field of flags. To the right here is the last dump station to where if you're leaving and you're going to dump on the way out, there's six of them here that you can dump in. And uh, you go right out. They also have gasoline that they sell over here on the left. And that'll end up our tour today. I hope all this information is helping you guys out a little bit while you're thinking about what you're going to do and where you're going to stay in Sturgis. If you haven't found a place yet, you better get busy and start looking because they're starting to book up pretty quick. You know, if you've got a tent, that's not an issue. You can always find a place to pitch that tent. That's right. Any place will accept you with welcome arms. Thanks for hanging out today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Think about Patreon. Give us a big thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. See you at the next rally.